We're gonna get this vlog started. Classroom setup day one. We are filled to the brim. I need to open up these boxes over here. Oh, this is from Jolisa. Look how stinking cute this setup is. I'm so happy about this. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I am Kira, and in this video, I'm taking you along with me as we go on classroom setup day one. I still cannot believe that we are at this point. Classroom setup day one. So, I am in my room hanging out for a little bit while my mom gets dressed i decided to get up a little bit earlier than her i got up i took it slow <laughs> i put on my clothes very wrinkled but you know what that's life i'm gonna be going into the classroom and sweating so you know what i didn't feel like i needed to be ironing any clothes this morning so but got dressed and so I'm sitting here eating my muffins and drinking my water. And I wanted to go ahead and start the vlog. If you watched my last summer vlog where I did some prep for the classroom and things like that, I ended that vlog with showing you all the things that I will be taking to the classroom today and uh it's a lot so my stepdad built some furniture that is in his truck and then we also have to load up all of the amazon packages that i've accumulated over the summer and then all of the bins and uh things like that that i've accumulated over the summer and then i have to take back all of the things that i brought home with me so like I bought a tub home with me and my book buddies are home with me because a friend borrowed them for her son's birthday and things like that. So the mission today is to get everything out of my house <laughs> and into the classroom and then to have my mom and my stepdad help me place all of the furniture where I want it placed. And then once they leave, I will spend the rest of the time just organizing and placing things where I want it to be placed. And so that is the goal for today. I probably won't do any decorating or anything like that. And then we make plans, we make goals, and then we get in there and then things change. So you never know what's going to happen because there will be lots of people in the building today. This week is technically new teacher orientation week. And so there'll be a lot, a lot of new teachers in the building or a lot of board subs. We have a lot of board subs at our school this year. So lots of teachers in the building. And uh, that all that does is cause distractions, you know, because, you know, your friends. Of course, there are some veteran teachers who are coming back and starting to set up their classroom because they got the same idea that I got. Like, I'm going to set up my classroom and be completely done with my classroom this week. So the next week I can focus on meetings and planning and making all the copies and all of that good stuff. So that is the plan. The next time I check in, we will be getting ready to leave the house. Luckily, my stepdad is off today. So normally he's off on Mondays, 
but he's been working on Mondays lately. But he decided that he was not going into work today. So that means we will probably have his help, which would be awesome, which I think I mentioned that we're going to have his help today. But we weren't going to have his help originally. And so now I'm glad that we will have his help. Um, but I'm going to stop chatting and we're going to get this vlog started. Classroom setup day one. <laughs> Okay, so the car is packed. I'll turn the camera around, give you a little tour. My stepdad's car is packed. I'll show you that too. But we are getting ready to head to the school. So let's do it. All right, this is my passenger seat with my cart. And then here's the back seat with all of my bins and my stuffies and then the floor also has pants and then in the back seat we have this big tub and then this so that is my car And in the back of here, in my stepdad's car, we have, I think, two shelves. And then in his back seat, two more shelves. And then boxes over there. So. We are filled to the brim over here. <laughs> if anything, I'm going to be productive in that everything will be out of my house. <laughs> Let's hit the road. All right, here is what we are starting with. Mom is already complaining, so I am going to hurry up and get her out of here. <laughs> she knows. <laughs> okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is move around the furniture. Mom and Fred are coming in with a load, so let's do this. good progress it's coming along so I'm gonna flip you around and show you what we're working with it still looks a mess because things are still stacked up everywhere but the furniture is getting into place so I have this here getting rid of that we have my trofast bin there this is gonna be my calm down corner I have a little mini reclining chair it's gonna go there it's gonna be so cute then we have this here got my rolling carts over there then i got my filing cabinets and a little spot for my backpack and then this is going to be for all my stuff small group and all that good stuff i got my writing center cart it is on the gangsta lane right now gonna have to fix that up writing table i'm so excited about all of my trophies shelving that was like the big purchase for me this year but got that in this is going to be my phonics center then we have this here for math then i got my easel up my new chair it looks so cute and then the tv this back here is where I store my math centers when the kids are not using them. And then we have 
my math manipulatives there. This will be my like station where I use my document camera and all that good stuff. Fingers crossed, hopefully it works out. And then this will be my Monday through Friday, no, not Monday through Friday. This will be my subject copies. So I'll grab from there during whole group. Then we make our way to the library area. I don't think that circle table is going to stay. And those pillows might move, but I think I'm gonna keep that stand here to make my little makeshift dramatic play stand. And then all of my books will go on this side. And then this area here will be for indoor recess. And then we have a bunch of mess over here. <laughs> so that is what we are working with so far. I'm gonna chug away, try to get rid of any furniture that I don't think I'm gonna use and place any furniture that needs to be placed. My mom and stepdad are getting the things from out of my car right now and bringing those in. And then me and my mom are gonna set up the student desks so then I can put everything, started putting things on tables. Interruption. All right, so I just walked over to my new team teacher's class. We're helping her out with her layout a little bit, but now I am going to hit the ground running. Let me show you what I have going on here so far. Me and mom and my stepdad just finished eating a little lunch. I didn't eat much, I just ate some McDonald's fries. And sweet tea. It is currently 12 o'clock. I feel like by 3.30, I'll be ready to go. I think by 3.30, I can clear everything and be ready to go. So let me flip it around, show you what we're working with, and then I'm gonna get to work. All right, so I've been cleared this off. So now I wanna go through and clear off all of that and put it somewhere in the room or what, whatever area it's supposed to go in. And then I'd like to get all of my boxes unboxed from Amazon and then try to do as much cleaning as I can, so. This is what we are working with. And I will check back in a little bit later. quite a bit done and I'm super excited about it. It's coming along, furniture is in place where I think I'm gonna have it. I need to open up these boxes over here. So I figured I would turn the camera on and open all the boxes with you. Uh, I've been chatting with my team a lot, helping them out with the layout and things like that in their room. I've just been helping my friends out with their layouts and things like that. Now I'm gonna be opening up these boxes. I have like sorted things on the tables. So I'll share with you what I have on each table and all that good stuff. But after I open up all these boxes, I'm gonna take a trip to my storage unit and get two rugs that I purchased over the summer and I have a little recliner chair that's gonna go in my calm corner. So I am going to get that ready to go. And yeah, I think after I make that trip, lay out all the rugs, I think I'll wrap up today. But let's go ahead and open these boxes. So most of these things I got off of my Amazon wish list. 
So thank you, thank you to anyone who has donated. If you would like to donate, I still have some things on my list that I would love to get before the beginning of the school year. So please definitely check out the link in my description. Oh, I think these are magnets. And then we have alien tape. If you don't know about alien tape, you need to get on it. Alien tape is like the best, especially if you have like center block walls or anything that's hard for things to stick to. Alien tape is like the bomb. So I definitely picked that up for classroom setup. I did do an unboxing of pretty much everything on a previous video. So definitely make sure that you check out my other vlogs if you are curious about everything that I've gotten so far. There are a couple of boxes that I wasn't able to open, so I wanted to open them now and get the boxes out of the way and start clearing that up. I got new clipboards, let me put these over here. I got a desk mat and I'm so excited about this desk mat. I think it's gonna match my vibes so well. Here's a sneaky peeky. I'm so excited about this. So this is a little glass holder for my whiteboard. And this is a pack of five mil laminating sheets. I'm excited about this. If you have littles and you want to laminate game pieces and things like that for centers and, and like small groups, definitely get five mil because they're gonna be super duper thick and it'll be and it'll last through all the manipulation that the kids will be doing with them. I got two sets of locks, numbers and letters. I got this big pack of headphones, which I'm super excited about. It will be kind of like if kids don't bring headphones in, then I'll have some backups. So if at least five or six kids bring in headphones, then I'll definitely be able to help the other kids out. Bye, Bye Katie. See you tomorrow. I'm so hyped about this frozen treat set. My best friend got it for me off my wish list. Going in the dramatic play area. She also got me these erasers. Aren't they such pretty colors? All right, one last box to open. Eraser holder. What is this? Oh, I don't know. Look in them. Oh, this is from Jolisa. Thanks, Jolisa. Let's say I did not get these so oh my gosh got these little dry bugs these will be fun on the carpet to practice letters and she got me this little marker holder for my whiteboard yay alrighty that is everything for now so I think I'm in a good spot I'm going to straighten up just a little bit to make sure that I'm in a good spot when I get back. And like I said, I'm gonna go to the storage unit, pick up my two rugs and my recliner. Also take a couple of things that I don't Five need. And then that is gonna be a wrap on classroom setup day one, which I'm hyped because this is way more than what I was able to accomplish in years in previous years so i'm very excited but let me stop yapping straighten up a little bit and run to the storage room.
your face. Huh? Can't see your face. That was fine. I don't, don't want to see that. <laughs> it has been an absolutely productive day. I'm so, so happy. I, don't, I didn't feel this happy. I feel like my first classroom setup at this school and neither my second classroom setup and this is like the first time I feel really, really good. So let me flip the camera around and show you everything. All right, so this is my welcome area. <laughs> Got that all set up. Look how stinking cute this setup is. I'm so happy about this little calm down corner. We got my area set up and ready to go. I'm obsessed with that mat. Over here we have all of the empty bins. And then I got my writing center set up, got my phonics set up, and then this is my math. We got my little ottoman set up and it's just so cute. I'm gonna get rid of this table. This is all set up. I'm gonna pull my carpet out a little bit more just so I have a little bit more space over there, but whole group area is looking good. That's the back area. Here's my library. I'm obsessed. Look at the rug. It's so cute. And I got a little table with some chairs. Can't wait to set this little stand up for dramatic play. Awesome. And then the cubby area is all cleaned off. Got everything cleared and got my new bins in the cubbies. And then this is my little opening area this cart will eventually go somewhere else but it looks good so that is the wrap on classroom setup day one i hope that you have enjoyed if you did give me a big thumbs up so you can reach other people out there who like classroom setup vlogs if you haven't already check me out on instagram i do things daily over there and with that being said i will see you in the next one make sure you subscribe